Welcome back. And in our top business story, Union National Bank has reported a 7.1% year-on-year increase in loans and advances to reach 60.6 billion dirhams in the first three quarters of the year. According to Abu Dhabi Lenders' latest figures, customers' deposits have grown by 16.3% year-on-year to reach 64.3 billion dirhams. Additionally, the operating profit for the nine-month period was up by 1.5% to reach 1.836 billion dirhams, driven by a growth in operating income while continuing to invest in growing the business franchise. Operating income was, for the period was up by 3.5% to reach 2.462 billion dirhams and higher net interest income and net income from Islamic financing, which was up by 4.6%, offset by a nominal reduction in non-interest income by 1% to 473 million dirhams. Mohammed Nasser Abdeen, the UNB's CEO, was quoted as saying that their financial performance was underpinned by consistent profitability, sustainable business growth, improving asset quality and strong liquidity and capital position. And staying in the capital, the National Bank of Abu Dhabi, the largest lender by market value in the UAE, has outlined plans to establish eight banking centres in major global cities and to build five franchises abroad along the West and East Corridor. The bank's CEO, Alex Thursby, made the announcement and was quoted as saying that banking hubs in Abu Dhabi, Mumbai, Lagos, Singapore, Hong Kong, London, Paris and Washington DC will be set up as part of their five-year plan. He added that they're looking to become the largest, safest and best-performing bank in the UAE and over time the GCC. Thursby also stated that while the focus will be on emerging markets, it will continue to strengthen its European and North American platforms. Nakhil has announced that the Union Co-op supermarkets will be set up as the anchor supermarket for its new 79,000 square foot community centre at International City. According to a company statement, the Union Co-op will take up more than 40% of the community mall, which will boast 24 shops, four restaurants and two coffee shops. The retail facility is set for delivery in 2015. And according to officials, they are bringing a much-needed venue for shopping, dining and social interaction to one of their biggest and most popular communities. The two other Nahil community centres, currently under construction at Discovery Gardens and Jumeirah Park, are due to open in early 2014 and are already 100% leased, according to reports. Dubai has made its debut in a global property investment hot list in a third quarter release. IP Global's property barometer has added Dubai to the likes of Chicago, New York, Boston and Seattle, Melbourne, Sydney and Brisbane, Munich and Berlin, which also featured in Q1, and Tokyo, which made its second appearance of the year in the list of the best real estate markets for investors. Paul Preston, the director and head of IP Global Middle East, was quoted as saying that prices have risen an impressive 11.9% in 2013 to date, with potential for more growth in a market that remains 30% below the peak levels of 2008. He added that the ever-increasing inflow of expat workers in the city from all over the world is a key factor in driving consistent rental rises. Etisalat has announced that it will launch the iPhone 5S and iPhone 5C for customers on the 3rd of November. According to a statement, the telecoms provider will offer the models at all Etisalat outlets as well as some selected business centres in the UAE. Prices for the iPhone 5S will range between 2,749 dirhams for the 16 GB and 3,549 dirhams for the 64 GBs. Additionally, the iPhone 5C, the most colourful iPhone yet, will range from 2,349 dirhams for the 16 GB and 2,749 for the 32 GB. Etisalat is also providing free iPhone 5C and 5S devices on contract, with monthly rentals starting at 199 dirhams. Additionally, Etisalat customers can trade their old phones, iPhone 5 or iPhone 4S devices, for discounted rates 
ranging from 600 dirhams to 1,150 for the new devices. They can also avail of a money back on the purchase of the new iPhone if they trade in their old phones later.